Hello my friends, in today's video I am going to be showing you some Bible verses which you can use to find help during a failure. My friend, we all will fail at some point in our life. Failing is a learning experience so we can do better next time. There were many biblical leaders who failed, but did they dwell on them? No. They learned from their mistakes and kept on moving forward. Determination and failure leads to success. You fail and you get up and you try again. Eventually, you will get it right. So my friends, as I have said, today I am going to show you some Bible verses which you can use to find help during a failure. So my friends, without any further delay, let's get into them. My friend, the first one I have chosen is a psalm. This is written for the director of music. This is a psalm of King David. This is Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know the transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are proved right when you speak, and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Surely you desire truth in the inner parts. You teach me wisdom in the inmost place. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bonds you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast from, cast me from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will turn back to you. Save me from blood guilt, O God, the God who saves me, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my eyes, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, O I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. In your good pleasure make Zion prosper. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then there will be righteous sacrifices, whole burnt offerings to delight you. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. My friend, now I want to tell you something. When I am reading these verses, please continue to read with me. Please grab your Bible and please continue to read with me. And then you can get a much more clear knowledge and a much more greater encouragement. On this particular thing that we are discussing today so my friends let's continue next thing I'm going to be reading is from the Gospel of Matthew chapter uh, chapter 18 verse 21 to 35 the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18 verse 21 to 35 this is the parable of the unmerciful servant then Peter came to Jesus and asked Lord how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me up to seven times Jesus answered, I tell you not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. The servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, cancelled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in, You wicked servant, he said, I cancelled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. 
shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as i had on you in anger his master turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed this is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart my friend the third one is from the gospel of luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 14 the gospel of luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 14 the parable of the lost son Jesus continued, There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. The next one will be from Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 13 verse 26 to 39 Acts chapter 13 verse 26 to 39 It is apart from the topic which is in Zaidi and Antioch Brothers, children of Abraham, and your God-fearing Gentiles, it is to us that this message of salvation had been, has been sent. The message of Jerusalem and their rulers did not recognize Jesus. Yet in condemning him, they fulfilled the words of the prophets that are read everywhere every Sabbath. Though they found no proper ground for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him executed. When they had carried out all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days he has seen by those who had traveled with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. They are now his witnesses to our people. We tell you the good news, what God promised our fathers. He has fulfilled for us, their children, by raising up Jesus. As it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, today I have become your father. The fact that God raised him from the dead, never to decay, is stated in these words, I will give you the holy and sure blessings promised to David. So it is stated elsewhere, You will not let your holy one see decay. For for when David had served God's purpose in his own generation, he fell asleep. He was buried with his fathers and his body decayed. But the one whom God raised from the dead did not see decay. Therefore, my brothers, I want you to know that through Jesus the forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. Through him everyone who believes is justified from everything you could not be justified from by the law of Moses. The next one is a verse from Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And the final couple of Bible verses for today's video is from Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 to 32. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 and 32. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. So my friends, that is all for today. So I hope you have got a great encouragement through today's video and through the Bible verses and chapters we have read today. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to follow me on social media for more encouragements and for God, daily God's word. So my friends, may God bless you, may God keep you, may God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen.